Max Bupo Walk for Health in association with Times Now is a first of its kind initiative in its second edition this year after a fabulous start last year. When it comes to staying fit, people take up different forms of physical activity. But very few turn towards walking to stay fit. Yet walking is a simple, cost-effective and easy way to incorporate exercise into our daily routines. And anyone and everyone can walk at any time of the day. Which is why Max Bupa, in association with Times Now, launched the Walk for Health initiative in 2012 across three major Indian metropolitan cities. Through this initiative, doctors, common man, social groups and celebrities all came together and evangelized the benefits of walking. You guys at times now, I think Max Bupa, everyone put together has brought about such a conscious effort to make sure that people get up, watch this and just realize how easy it is to be healthy and at the same time how important it is. After an overwhelming response to the first ever multi-city initiative, the team at Max Bupa and Times Now came back with a second edition of the Max Bupa Walk for Health to be held on October 20th, 2013 in Delhi and Mumbai. And the initiative received an overwhelming response from adults and children alike in both cities. Whether they walked at night to stay fit, or to bond with their families, or to explore the city and its sites, or whether they simply walked to stay fit. Through a month-long grand initiative organized across two major metropolitan cities, Delhi and Mumbai saw thousands pre-register for the walk. And they all pledged to walk together for a fitter tomorrow. So come October 20th, a nice bright Sunday morning, Delhi and Mumbai saw thousands come out to join the Max Bupa Walk for Health while thousands more lined up to register for the walk. It's been an amazing turnout and this fits in very well with our purpose of making customers live healthier and more successful lives. Our main idea of doing such an event is to get people into the habit of spending at least half an hour a day walking. The second edition of the walk saw an overwhelming response with over 18,000 people in the two cities walking to stay fit and healthy. Happy to see so many people here today uh, walking for health at this walkathon. The fact that it's a Sunday, the fact that everyone's here at 6 30 in the morning, and the fact we got 10,000 entries here, I think it's amazing and I think it proves that we are becoming a healthier and a health conscious nation and I think there's no better way to become healthier than walking. The good part is it's not about winning here, it's about uh, walking together and uh, feeling fit. So I think that's a good concept. Be it children, with many schools becoming a part of this initiative. Do you like getting up in the morning and going for walks? Yes. Or senior citizens. Your mind is always agile. You can do a lot of things. Families, young professionals or large groups. Common man and celebrities alike all came together for a wonderful cause to raise awareness that fitness and health should be our main focus. So you ready to party? And walking was the best way to start. It's the day of the walkathon when Times Now, along with Max Bupa, encourage people to take up walking as an exercise and make it a part of their daily lifestyle. And we've got a phenomenal response. Five kilometer walk starts first, then the two kilometer walk. From three-month-old Ahika to 80-year-old Mr. Dalmia, there is a huge number of people who are present here from various walks of life who are going to walk for help. The spirit is great. People are enjoying the walk here. 
people have started filing in, the registrations are on, and we can see there's lots of enthusiastic people from all walks of life that have come here to try and start their day with a great big bang. We have a lot of school children, as you can see, they're walking. Well, it has been quite a turnout over here, early Sunday morning in Delhi. Walk every day! It's a very easy commitment to make to yourself to start off and maintain your health by doing something which is accessible and doesn't allow you to have any excuses. You have to commit to doing something. We believe that walking is the simplest way of getting people actually committed towards that 30 minutes of what you should do. You don't need any training for walking. You don't need any special equipment for walking. And it has all the benefits of most of the exercises that you would do. The second edition of the Max Bupa Walk for Health was held across India's two major metropolitan cities of Delhi and Mumbai and it got off to a great start. Are you all ready? Let's walk for health! The Indian capital Delhi had the crowds all charged up for the walk at the Dhyan Chand National Stadium. 10,000 in just Delhi alone. It's been a crazy morning here. We've had people walking in for the registrations and literally people from all walks of lives. While experts from Fitness First warmed up the crowds with the Zumba. Over 1,000 children that joined the walk in Delhi were entertained by Nick Toon favourites, Dora the Explorer and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Pose for the camera, come on guys, let's pose like the ninjas, let's pose like the ninjas, and ah, that's the spirit, that's the spirit. Lots of fitness activities, lots of entertainment planned for the morning, and the star attraction here, Sanya Mirza. It's great to see so many people uh, at, on Sunday at 6.30 in the morning, at 7 in the morning. Thank you very much. Uh, this is about bringing walking into your lives on, at, on a routine basis every day, not just once a year. It's a walkathon and this is, should be the beginning of a great, great walking routine and walking in our lives. Tennis ace Sanya Mirza and Bollywood actor Manish Paul flagged off the walk in Delhi. As a country, we need to understand how important health is. We need to understand how important walking is for our health. And I think it's the most basic thing a human can do is basically walk. Um, and it doesn't have to be for a couple of hours. It has to be for 20 minutes a day, for half an hour a day. And you actually don't notice it as much when, you know, when you're 25 or 35 or 40. You'll notice it when you're, when you're about 60 or 70, how much it helped you when you walked when you were 35. I enjoyed uh, being here, obviously, uh, being in Delhi and walking with the Delhiites. I think uh, I love the energy everybody has here. A number of celebrities too joined the walk to create an awareness that walking is good for our health. I believe if you dream to have good health and I believe if you want to treasure out the gold of health that you have within your body, the best way is to walk, walk and walk. Sweat out, walk and you get all the benefits that, that Mother Nature can give you. Walking is uh, really healthy, it's the uh, very easiest way to keep fit and also uh, it's de-stressing. Yeah. Uh, we do it on a regular basis so I think it's fun to be joining all the young people and walking. Today is a great day. I think uh, walking is a very good sport, de-stressing as Ranjana said and I think everybody should do it every day religiously. This will keep them fit and also from away from all kind of diseases. I, I just love the pump here. I love the music and love the uh, exuberance on every face and uh, you know I wish uh, everybody would make it absolutely a must do every day to walk, to be with you, to be with the road you know and I love it. Organizing this in Delhi and Bombay it's, it's really really nice because you're giving people actually an opportunity to actually walk 
Uh, this is a preventive measure and hence I think more and more people need to understand that if you take care of your health in small measures like this, like a walk or something, then you possibly avoid a bit of bigger catastrophe later. Instead of taking the elevator, you take the staircase. These are little things which make a lot of difference. It is very tiring, my legs are paining, but no problem, I am walking. I have a very special guest here, 75 years young, he's an athlete and he signed up for the two kilometer walk but ended up walking five kilometers. Yeah, you walk, you enjoy the walk. <laughs> it is good for health. Uh, two legs, two legs are two best doctors with you, always. It's much better to walk in open air. Getting up early in the morning and starting the day with a walk, you know, it helps me a lot. And is this the way you'll be walking all the entire five kilometers? It's only when we're tired. You're already tired. All in front of the camp. You're not even crossed half uh, the distance and you're already tired. Oh, this is how you conserve the energy, is it? <laughs> and how long would you take to conserve your energy and go on with, in full swing? Right now. Right now. <laughs> if you want to stay healthy, want to lead a good life, you should do walk. That's no side effect. By walking, you can gain your stamina and you can do well in your, like, uh, in the sports. People streaming into the finish line. We've seen people from all walks of life, all age groups. I have a bunch of youngsters here with me. Uh, what You walked for five kilometers or yes. two kilometers? Yeah. Five. 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 You completed the entire five kilometers? Yes. Yeah. yes. Did you like it? Yes, yes. very much. Okay. We were very glad to walk for health. The financial hub of India, Mumbai too saw thousands join the walk at the Bandra Amphitheatre. With a host of celebrities cheering on the crowds. <laughs> and the participants warmed up for the walk in a boot camp organized by fitness experts from Watson Fitness. And Sonam Kapoor was there, leading the way for a good cause. While Sonam Kapoor's character in the blockbuster Bhag Milka Bhag inspired Milka Singh to run for his country, Sonam inspired thousands of Mumbaikers to walk for good health. The flag off has happened and the people have started walking. Well, I'm, I'm really very excited about the turnout. It's brilliant. And uh, anything to encourage good health and uh, because honestly I really believe health is wealth. And I think uh, with such sedentary lifestyles that we lead these days, uh, walking and just moving is something that we take gra something for granted. And I think just to inspire people to walk, uh, which is like basic, is brilliant. So I'm quite excited about this walkathon. Many like-minded health brands too partnered with us for the walk. And the participants just couldn't get enough of this early morning workout. It's a lovely view of the sea and also of all the walkers as they wave past and walk past. This is in fact the latter half of that entire gamut of people who have embarked on the 5 kilometer walk. I'm 76 years today, but I'm enjoying without medicine. Fitness is a must, so I believe that one should take care about the health. Money is after that. Yeah. We've got a phenomenal response to the walkathon. I've got some more participants over here. You, you've walked almost half the way. Yeah. And uh, do you encourage people to take up walking as an exercise? Yes, of course. Do you feel uh, that everyone should have uh, walking as part of the lifestyle? Yeah. I'm coming from Goa. Especially I came for this um, event. Secret of your fitness? I, I walk at least 7 kilometers every day. It's the best form of uh, exercise and you know, it's very easy. You yeah. don't need to you can do spend it at your time. Do anything else, we just have to walk and simply walk. I regularly walk and uh, today especially was a great experience. Uh, it was very energetic crowd. You see young people, senior citizens, kids, all were very thrilled. We walk regularly, right? we do <laughs> exercise regularly because it's part of our routine. We are from Indian Navy. Oh, you're from the Indian Navy, so it's part of your routine. Wonderful. <laughs> While most came to walk for their health, some also came to walk for a cause. And I would like to thank uh, Max Buper for giving us this great platform 
because one of the main ways to avoid breast cancer is brisk walking. So people get on, wear your shoes and start walking. Our campaign's name is Abmaik Bajau and it is an anti-aftising campaign started by the BMM department of Lala Lajpat Rai College. We are here to create awareness amongst the people so that they know we have to stop this. We are representing Cry Child Rights in you. We are spreading child right awareness. We are spreading that malnutrition should be uh, completely wiped out from this country. And when you talk about Mumbai, the stars can't be far behind. Walking is one of the most basic exercises that we can do and it is something that is, uh, you can find time for it very easily. So, uh, and the fact that the entire community is here, people are walking together, making friends, listening to good music and most importantly, they're here for their health. Let's walk, let's walk, let's rock it, let's walk, let's walk, 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 walk. I think fitness should be the basic premise of every human being. This walk should not uh, be restricted uh, for just today. Uh, as an event, but you should follow this uh, practice every day in the morning, uh, throughout the year, uh, throughout the time, till the time you're fit and you are uh, enjoying your life. Well, marathons are not there for everyone. I mean, it's very tough. Um, walking is at least, um, you know, a little easier and a little better. And, you know, you don't realize where your time goes. And I think everyone should initiate and, you know, participate in something like walkathon. You can always walk up the steps, you know, to your home. We all stay in buildings in Mumbai. You can always walk while talking on your mobile and not sit in a sedentary position. It's not about walking on the streets. It could be just about walking. It's healthy. It keeps you fit. It keeps you in shape. And given today's stress and lifestyle diseases, etc etc it's imperative to be fit I feel it's very important that you are fit and uh, you kind of uh, feel good the right. whole feel good factor comes with the fitness and whether it is uh, uh, swimming or gymming or walking and walking is the easiest because you can just get up where your kids and just start walking I am totally a walking person and I believe in you know going out and like enjoying the nature and I make sure that every day I take some time out to walk and jog. Yeah. A child can do it and a really old person can do it and a young person can do it. It can also clear your head, you know, that's your time to yourself. I think it's quite cool. Keep walking and keep taking care of yourself and be healthy and be happy. I hope you're a part of this next year and the coming year. Yes, I hope so too. Keep walking. I think it's a great thing to do and uh, probably it will bring people out of their inaction. Right. Yeah. Uh, and it's a healthy thing to be with people, it's nice to walk together. I really think that public at large needs to realize that health is wealth and we in this stressful city of ours, the best way out is to de-stress with this one hour walking and believing that health is wealth. So congratulations to all of you. With the huge numbers that joined the walk and the happy faces at the end of the day, the message was clear that walking indeed was the new fitness mantra. Rather seeing everybody here, this was wonderful. Yeah. And what about you? Did you enjoy your Jubilee? Yeah, I enjoyed very much. It was uh, very nice, and I think uh, uh, you should, you know, uh, do it more. Continue this, and let the people have the awareness that walk is for uh, health. Thank you very, very much to all our sponsors and to all our viewers. Thanks for tuning in. To all our walkers, thanks for walking the Max Bupa Walk for Health. So that concludes a morning of fun, fitness and health. We hope this encourages people to take up walking as a daily part of life. The theme is very simple. Walking is the simplest form of exercise and we hope that all of us, young and old, can take it up. We promise the Max Bupa Walk for Health in association with Times Now will be back, bigger and even better, next year.